My question though is, when you look at that offense, and, and, and listen, offense? You, you saw Mac, you saw Mac Jones screaming and hollering about we got to throw the football down as the field. he should. Uh, yeah, I, I got to ask you about Bill Belichick. It doesn't seem like this is getting better. What do they do? I did, look, I'm just sitting here as, a, as an analyst watching the game last night, and I can tell you that the fans and even myself, you, you get frustrated at what you're watching because it's like night and day. The Bills walk out there on the football field. They make it look easy. They're throwing the ball down the field. They're running the football. They're not just checking it down to the back every single play. Um, so you definitely saw the frustration there. Mac Jones, you see that. You know, There's him expressing that on the sidelines. I won't say what he said but we all know what he said uh, there it is oh yeah throw the ball okay so again the the offensive system that they're running just isn't cutting it because they're they're not scoring points they're not moving the football they don't have anything except for last week you, you thought maybe they have something going here and then they just take another step backwards so there's no consistency which is a huge problem so now where do they go moving forward listen I think Mac Jones is a good quarterback. I really do. I think his rookie season, he did a great job under a really tough situation with Josh McDaniels as an OC, which is a very advanced offense. So he has an advanced offense his rookie season. He does really well, probably the best rookie in the draft class. Then the second year, he regresses. Now, I'm not putting that on Mac Jones. I'm putting that on Matt Patricia, the offensive coordinator. Bill has, Bill has a lot to do with it as well because he made those decisions to put – Matty in that place. And I love Matty. He's a great coach. But you also have to have a different mindset as an offensive coordinator. Listen, you look at some of these OCs that are like the gurus. They're like writing a, a plays down at, at lunch. They're on napkins. They have this, you know, McDaniel, Mike McDaniel, um, Josh McDaniel. You look at all these guys that are offensive minded. They have been offensive guys their whole life. So I think that the switch is so hard. We've never seen it before. And obviously you see it. You can see it last so night. Nice. It just doesn't look good. So nice. Bro, bro what did the Patriots remind you of? Uh, it reminds me kind of right now of the Steelers and the situation that they're going through. It's a little bit different, but to me, I see two franchises that are having to move on and find an identity after they've lost their franchise quarterback. You know, Ben Roethlisberger retires, Tom Brady goes to Tampa. Uh, I'd like to borrow a line from my favorite songstress, Taylor Swift. The old Patriots can't come to the phone right now. They're dead. Uh, but unlike Taylor Swift, they're not evolving to a good thing. Like what Ninko said, they're taking a step back here. And I, I think that it's hurting Mac Jones and his evolution and his growth as a quarterback. To me, this offense is so hard to watch. I have seen a similar one before in Pittsburgh when he thinks when he's when Mac Jones is, you know, just imploring to throw the ball down the field more. They're playing it too safe. It is hurting this offense, but it shows how hard it is to move on from a guy that's defined your organization for so long. It's why I think that you'll see the Packers have a hard time trying to figure out what to do with Aaron with Aaron Rodgers. RC, what is your take? Well, we're clouding the, the, the question. What Brooke said is correct, right? That we're watching the New England Patriots have to live after losing the greatest quarterback of all time. But we're asking what happened from last year to this year, not what happened from three <laughs> years ago in 2019 when Tom Brady left. And the reporter was trying to lay it up for Bill Belichick. Bill, what's different from last <laughs> year's team where the players were the same to now. You know what's different? The coaches. Matt Patricia <laughs> and Joe Judge. But in the offseason when I was like, hey, I know we got to try to gotta give Bill a little leeway because he's Bill and he's the greatest coach of all time. But Matt Patricia was in charge of Detroit. They got worse. Think about that. A Detroit Lions team fired a coach, hired a coach, and got worse from the coach before. And then you said, okay, well, who? what, what did Joe Judge do? Well, like, where can we look at his offensive background? Well, he was the head coach in charge of making Daniel Jones a franchise quarterback. We see how that worked out as well. That's the difference. Mac Jones was able to excel last year compared to other rookies because of what he has from the neck up. Not because of his arm, not because of his talent. And so when you compare how Buffalo was moving Nico compared to how New England was moving, one, they have a way more talented quarterback. Two, they play to that quarterback strengths. Matt Patricia, Joe Judge, they don't know how to play to the quarterback strength because they ain't never had to coach that. They never <laughs> had to scheme throughout the week to put a quarterback in the best of which situation to succeed. They never had to take a quarterback from his first year to his second year. That's what's been, different, y'all. Those I folks can't coach offense. I, I Nico, you, I, you, I'm you taking you off the You're hook. right. I know RC, you got to right. be nice, Nico. <laughs> listen, listen. 
But, you, hey, but, but, but what the simple, you got what, time what, here, what, RC. You here, know you got a lot thing. invested in here. But yeah, the but simple see. answer. But, the what simple, can Robert Kraft say to Bill Belichick? But, what can you say to Bill but, Belichick? But who's get, gotten you all those Super Bowls? The simple answer that Bill Belichick didn't answer, that Nico didn't answer either, is the difference is the coaches. Period. Point blank. Simple. You have a defense, and then RC just said it. You have a defensive coordinator and a special teams coordinator trying to be offensive coordinators. Nowhere else could you get away with that and be like, well, we'll try it. Maybe it's not working. It hasn't worked. That's the reason. That's the, I, but the what reason. Can you do? What can before you do? The, 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 before the season started, I did say this, and I said, Bill, at, at this point in his career, I was questioning why he would go and do something like this because at the end of the day, everything is going to go back to to Bill and Bill, there's there's a reason why some guys aren't titled. You know, there's not a title DC, there's not a titled OC because then the direction he'll say, oh, ask me all the questions about the offense, ask me the questions about the defense. So it goes back to Bill, and then at the end of the day, Bill has the final trump card. Bang! Yeah. Like, look at my look at my resume, and what are you gonna say about that? So huh? fire Bill then? So fire no, Bill? You ain't fire That's what yeah. you're saying. Bill, is Bill, Bill fire, fire Bill? Bill. Bill's, Bill's gonna be there for as long as Bill wants to be there. You can go. You're right about that. Um, Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.